Hello there, um, welcome to the channel and in this series I'll be teaching you on how you can make something like this that you can see on the screen. So I'll be taking you through step by step tutorial sessions on how to render a simple table fan jet engine on SketchUp. Now I just want to make a disclaimer. The measurements and dimensions are not in any way accurate, they are not professional, but this is just a tutorial uh, for the purpose uh, to rather help you to be familiar with SketchUp and its tools, uh, SketchUp and its tools, you know, while making something which looks good, something which looks sort of genuine, right? So using this SketchUp, to, uh, SketchUp software. Alright, so I'll be looking forward to do all these things with you and uh, I hope you all enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to make a new file and then we're going to start. So we're going to start with the fan blade. Uh, let's start with this fan blade in front that you can see here on the screen and then we'll move on. So we're going to start with the interiors of this jet engine. Uh, that means we're going to do all the stages of the jet engine. Now I'm not taking this from any template. So the stages I'm going to be uh, putting in the jet engine, they are not in any way similar to any other jet engine that you know of. You know, They are not uh, like any of those Rolls Royce jet engines or General Electric jet engines. This is just something I'll be taking off the top of my head. So I just hope you'll get the whole idea of the thing. So I'm gonna make a new file. So I'm just gonna erase this. And then um, now I'm gonna start by making a circle. Let's make this, um, yeah, that much centimeters, 5,750. Now I'm going to extrude it or push using the push pull feature. Let's make that 4,850. Now, as I say, these measurements are not accurate. We just want something that looks okay. All right. Now. Uh, we're gonna be working in this portion of area uh, this portion right here now here this is where we're gonna make the profile we're gonna draw our blade profile on this area here now as I said the blade profile is not anything professional either so we're just gonna make something that looks okay now let's use this three-point arc feature something uh, yeah now let's use the two point arc feature let's make it tangent to that right there let's do that again let's make it a tangent to that now it has to be as thin as possible just making a tangent there. Alright. Now let's use a three point arc feature again. Oh, so that's there. And then now because we want to make this as thin as possible. Not uh, yeah, something like that use the two point arc feature then join these two make them a tangent also like that yeah that looks okay -ish. let's just see that looks okay now we're just gonna pull that thing to 13,200 centimeters 
okay all right fine now we're going to mark this whole blade we're going to select the whole blade now just make sure you only select the blade now just deselect the rest of the stuff that you select using shift just press press down shift and then click on the stuff you don't want only the blade we want only the blade just like that now just turn around to see that everything of the blade is marked all right now this is the part where you should now pay attention um, we're not gonna repeat this uh, a lot of times so what we have to do is just use this blade that we've made and then repeat it 24 times so here you press control and you go to the center and then keep control pressed and then leave it now press times 24 and then you'll see that the blades will just automatically come out so we have 24 blades on our fan with 24 blades yeah that looks good that looks okay that looks okay now we're gonna try making the cone uh, the cone so we're gonna make another circle from the center of the one we first made now we don't want this to be so much of an offset from the first circle so let's try making it as close as possible um, closer I think yeah that should be fine it should be fine now you're gonna pull or extrude this circle that we've just drawn we're gonna extrude it to about there that looks okay looks okay now we're gonna have to get a point uh, and then when we get a point if it's marking blue don't take the point right there when it turns black then you pull it down like that and then just make sure the point comes down to a single point and you pull down uh, that doesn't look so good all right let's redo that control Z now just pull it again should be fine now let's try it again there and pull it down yeah should be fine. oops pull it down and do this again. get a point like that then pull it down that should be fine all right now we have our cone and then we also have our fan blade now we just want to make this look a bit nice so we're gonna apply some paint on it gonna apply some paint all right uh, select that again okay let's select uh, the color so that we paint the cone select a color here Maybe blue maybe blue let's see blue this color here no let's try something else that's too bright let's try gray let's try gray something gray yes yeah that looks okay yeah that looks okay yeah so we, we've, we've we've done our fan blade and also the cone so stay tuned for the next video where we go on to do the other stages of uh, the turbo fan jet engine thank you so much for watching